In this video, I'm going to show how to create a custom widget that allows you to control your garage door and display the status of the garage door. So this is assuming that you have a momentary switch that actually controls or toggles the garage door open and closed, and that you have a tilt sensor or contact switch to display the status. So we're gonna do a couple of things here. We are going to first create the task widget on the home screen that allows you to control the garage door. We're going to configure that to uh, toggle or press the momentary switch. Then we're gonna open up Sharp Tools and we will subscribe to the status changes of our tilt sensor or contact switch. Then we're going to set up a tasker profile that reacts to those uh, changes in the status and updates the widget for us. So let's get started. So we'll start by long pressing on the home screen, selecting widgets, and then we're gonna have to scroll all the way over to the task widget that comes from Tasker. So keep in mind that there is a task shortcut and a task widget. You want the task widget, which is the small one on the left. So we'll drag that to the home screen. And we'll start by creating a new task. This task, uh, we'll call it garage door. And we'll start by giving it an action. And that action is going to be, again, to control our momentary switch. So we'll use plugin, then sharp tools, then a thing. And this is going to let us control a thing. So we'll hit the pencil to set up the configuration. And I'll make sure that I'm on my device I want to control, which in my case is a momentary button. And then make sure you have the right action selected, whether that's toggle or push or whatever's accurate for your device. And we'll hit apply to save our settings and back one more time to save it within Tasker. So if we press, before we press back, excuse me, we'll need to make sure that we select an icon. So that's the little uh, three by three grid in the bottom right corner. We'll select that, and it doesn't really matter what icon we select, so I'll select a default built-in icon. Uh, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and just grab the, the default uh, tasker icon. We'll press back now to save this widget to our home screen. And so now we have a widget on our home screen that allows us to control our garage door. So anytime we tap that, it'll send a command to either toggle or push the button for our garage door. So now we want to set up in Sharp Tools the subscription to the garage door opening and closing, the status. So we'll open up Sharp Tools. In our case, I'm using a contact switch called status. So I'll long press on that, which brings up the subscription menu, and I'll choose subscribe to contact. So I want to make a mental note that the attribute I'm interested in is called contact here. So now I see the star show up, indicating that I'm successfully subscribed to the status of this device. So now that I'm subscribed, it doesn't really do anything immediately. That sends events to my device, but until I set up Tasker to react to those, nothing's gonna happen. So let's go into Tasker. And we wanna make sure that we're on the Profiles tab. And we're gonna create a new profile using the plus symbol in the bottom right. We'll select Event, and then Plugin. Now we'll select Sharp Tools, and we, we want to react anytime the thing state changes, so we'll select that. And again, we want to hit the pencil to actually set up the configuration for this plugin. So if you remember, our, our thing name was called Status, so we'll simply enter in the thing name as Status, and the attribute that we were interested in was called Contact. So what this is going to do is this is basically setting the, the filters down to say, Whenever I get uh, events that come into the phone, which events do I want to react to? In my case, I want to react to only events that have the device name status and that, are, that have the attribute contact. So we'll go ahead and click apply. And here we want to make note of a variable that's going to be set when it's triggered. So we have a couple of variables here, uh, st attribute name, st attribute value, st thing ID, and st thing name. In our case, we want to know anytime the attribute value changes. So we'll make a mental note of percent %st underscore attribute underscore value, or ATTR value. 
So now let's back out. And Tasker is going to prompt us to say, hey, what do you want to occur? Want to occur anytime this event is triggered? So anytime I receive a status change, what do you want to have happen? So we'll create a new task. And we can give it a name if we want, but I'm going to leave it blank. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up two different actions. We're going to say, OK, anytime I get an event, that event is any status change. So it could be the garage door opening or the garage door closing. So we want to set up two different actions to change the icon. One action will change the icon to maybe a, a red warning anytime the garage door is open. And the second action will set the icon to maybe a green status whenever the garage door is closed. So we're going to set those up conditionally, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. To start with, we'll click the plus button at the bottom of the screen. This will let us add an action. And in this case, we're going to click the tasker icon because we want to use a built-in tasker feature to change the tasker widget icon. So we'll hit that. And we see we have an option here for set widget icon. So let's select it. And what this is saying is, hey, what widget do you want to change the icon for? So we can hit the little uh, search glass, the magnifying glass on the right to see what widgets we have. And we want to do the one called garage door because that's the one we set up earlier. And then we have to decide what icon do we want. So like I said earlier, we'll do an icon that uh, maybe is a red warning like this triangle here anytime that the garage door is open. So remember earlier that we said uh, we want to remember that variable. That variable again is st underscore attribute or attr, excuse me, underscore value. And the value is anytime the garage door is open, so it matches the phrase open, we'll want this to occur. And if you're not using a contact switch, if you're using uh, a tilt switch or something else, you may need to look through the SmartThings documentation to see what the appropriate value is anytime your device uh, changes. So now we've got that set up. We want to set up the other icon change, which is anytime the garage door is closed, we want to change the icon back to a good condition. So again, we'll click plus at the bottom. We'll click the tasker icon again. And again, we'll click set widget icon. So same thing as before, hit the uh, magnifying glass and select our widget that we want to change, which is garage door. And then this time we're going to change the icon to another icon. Uh, let's do something that's maybe a good state how about the happy hippo? So the happy hippo means the garage door is closed and we are happy. So again, we want to make this conditional to only occur whenever that is closed. So whenever the value is the st attribute value is closed, we'll display the happy hippo. So let's, everything looks good. Let's press back one more time to save it and back one more time to see our status. So right now the icon is still the original tasker icon because we haven't changed the status yet. So I'm going to hit the button to toggle my garage door, which should be opening it. Closing it, excuse me. So anytime now it's closed, we've got the happy hippo. And so if we hit the garage door one more time to toggle it, it should be toggling it open. And again, this is just a virtual setup. It's not real. Um, but behind the scenes, you can see that now the garage door is open. So we've got this warning icon. And one last comment I'd make is that if you do not know what your uh, the different attributes are, the best thing to do is to go into Sharp Tools. And if you know your device, like in my case, is the status device, you can start by simply long pressing on it and see what the, the attribute name is. The other thing you can do is you can go into Tasker once you know what that attribute name is, your device and your attribute is. And you could even set up on this profile, this one that's reacting anytime the, the status is changing. We could set up another task that uh, prints off a notification that says what the value is. So let me show you what that looks like. We'll go and we'll create uh, a new alert and then we'll make sure we use notify. So in this case, we'll, we're going to say in the title, we'll print out what the uh, thing name is, st thing name. 
and in the body of the notification, we'll actually print out what the value is, st underscore attr underscore value. And so this can be good for diagnostic purposes. It's, it's nice to, to see what's actually happening, what the value is. So let's save that. And then I'll hit the garage door one more time. And we get a push event, which if we scroll down, it says closed. And then if I open it, we'll get a push event that says it's open. So we can use that to figure out what values we should be entering into Tasker. So I hope that helps.